Today my mom got together with my hino as cancer. Um, and my mom looks at me like a little girl, little girl lost. When she got home, and she's like, like she's a man seem like say, Jennifer's not doing very good. She looked horrible today. Oh, Mom. I know. She has pancreatic cancer. She was given seven months to live. She's already lived 13 months, okay? She was diagnosed December 12. I said, Mom, you have got I fear what's going to happen to you. I know. And if Jennifer dies, you know, it's going to affect you even more than when your own mother died. I know it. My mom hasn't been all that close to marrying any more than I have, but she's always been close to the son who has cancer. Just like I was for a good portion of my life. It's sad, but everything's sad. People, I said to my mom, I'm like, Mom, everybody dies. No one is My mom, I didn't yell at her or anything. I just like, I just called her on it though. This person she doesn't see that often. A friend asked about Jennifer, and I hear my mom saying, "Oh, she's in remission. She's not in remission." Mom, you gotta face that. She's not in remission. Remission is when the cancer goes away. Remission's not when the doctor says sorry, but you, you, the cancer's not responding to any treatments, and this is the end. We're not going to let you have any more treatments. It's up to God now. That's, that's not remission. My mom's in denial. Oh, this is so sad. Oh, I don't know how my mom's going to take this. My mom comes home. She's like, Jennifer's not doing very good. She looked horrible today. Other days, my mom's like, oh, Jennifer's feeling fine. She feels fine. Doesn't matter if you feel fine. The cancer's growing and growing. It's eating your body alive, barring God stepping in and saving the day. You're gonna die. We all die. Nobody escapes death. Nobody. And the older you get, the more chance, the more things go wrong with you. Now apparently my uncle, her husband, Jennifer's husband, is having a whole bunch of problems. You know, Jennifer, and then the daughter has some problems, physical problems. I mean, Jennifer shouldn't be having all this stress, you know. The stress is not good when you, you've been suffering from pancreatic cancer for 13 months, and now the doctor's saying no more treatments. I mean, she's going to die, my mom. My musician ex says, she's like, I'm like, my mom's not going to be any handles this. He's like, you know what, Laura, you'll see, you know, when, if you want to, you know, she'll, you'll have to deal with the funeral and this, that, whatever. And he was saying, you know, sometimes, like, a lot of times there's relief because you've just been waiting, waiting for the ball to drop. me who I truly, truly loved and cared about. I wasn't all that close to my mom's mom, my grandmother who died, or or my pseudo-grandfather who wasn't my blood grandfather. He was Marion's father, alcoholic father who wanted to fuck me when I was 12, you know. So, was, this is just... I have a picture Probably over 40, it's got to be over 40 years old, or close to 40 years old. Yeah, oh no, I'm sorry, over 40 years old. Of Jennifer, man Jennifer, and her husband, who she's been with this whole time. See, she's had a good, good life. No one escapes death. But anyway, I have a picture that I confiscated because when my mom, you know, 
schizophrenia will make you do all kinds of weird things. My mom was going to destroy her photo albums that had her when she was a kid and her with me when I was a baby. She was going to destroy them all when she was sick when I was in my 20s. I took them. I stole them. I took them before she had a chance to destroy them. And I've had those pictures ever since. And I've actually, you know, scanned all my pictures, most of them, and I've put them out on Facebook and Flickr and MySpace, and you know, they're all safe forever because, you know, pictures and albums eventually, you know, they're not, but my mom's going to destroy them, you know. Schizophrenia is a very scary illness. It turns you into whatever. I mean, she, my mom tried to hurt me, and if she had succeeded, in her head were telling her I was an alien who needed to be knocked out when I was in my living there with her and her crazy husband was in my twenties and she chased me. I got away. She never tried to hurt me when I was a kid. She never tried to hurt me before then but she was going through hell with her crazy husband and I was upset with him and her because of whatever but indicate she turned on me and she chased me back got away. But I'm just saying his kids are in his very scary voices talk to you and whatnot. But I got the pictures. Anyway, I have a picture of my uncle and I when they're so young. Probably when they were first met or first married. I'm gonna copy it with Kodak Picture Maker at, at you know, at a drugstore, see if he has a right aid or something and and give it to her. I'm sure she'll like gonna die. My mom said to die. She's gonna die. I'm sorry, but she's gonna die. She's gonna die. I mean, miracles don't happen very often. The cancer's last time, really, the last time I, I get, my mom doesn't have, my mom's memory's horrible, but my mom, we all love Last time she either had Went from chemo to radiation, whatever it was. Last time, let's say she had chemo, the, the, the second to last time, and or radiation, whatever it was, it didn't grow. I mean, it, it didn't shrink, but it didn't grow, so it wasn't great news, but it wasn't horrible news. Well, guess what, baby? The last time, this last time for three months, however it works, it grew. It not only didn't respond to treatment, it grew. It's just not going away. So unless, quote-unquote, God steps in and saves the day, my Aunt Jennifer is going to die. There is no getting around it, and I'm sure she has faced it, but my mother has not. Not at all. Telling this woman, and I said, Mom, you know, when the woman, you know, if Jennifer dies, and then the woman's going to say, well, you said she was in remission, Samantha. My mom telling Mission. Oh, this is so fucking sad. Life is sad. We're all just fucking here, trying to do the best we can. We don't know why. Unless you're one of those people who just thinks you know why, you know? But I'm not. Never had that luxury, sorry. 